my brother and I know, I'm actually engaged. Just, really? Just before I came here. Wow. Congratulations, yes, brother. Yes, yes. It's amazing. I'm sure this camera is going to tell you. Guys, Ozzy broke the good news of his engagement before coming into Big Brother Niger House to Sean, Handy, and Wani. And I was just like, uh huh. But it was him being worried that the camera captured what he said for me. I was just like, my brother, don't just mind the camera. We've heard you and we are happy that you got engaged before going into the Big Brother house. And to be quite frank, I really like how Ozzy and OC are playing their game in that house. Like, they are there to have fun, enjoy themselves without, you know, doing too much with the guests. That being said, let's just talk about all the weird, crazy and shocking things that happened last night. One of the weirdest conversations that I witnessed last night was the conversation between Victoria and Suj. Um, that conversation got me really wondering uh, what did they happen? In fact, Suj was very, very uncomfortable after that conversation because he didn't expect the kind of treatment Victoria gave him. Handy and Wani made assurance, a big assurance to Victoria. I just watched the end of this particular video. Let's unpack the gist of this video. If you are new to my channel and you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click on the notification bell button. Do not forget to like and share this video with your friends and loved ones that likes Big Brother gist. You guys, Suj had promised that he was going to give Victoria a wake up call during a conversation with Sean. He promised Sean that he was going to give Victoria a wake up call because for him, he does not see the reason why Victoria would be acting the way she has been acting in the house. Meanwhile, she is beautiful. She has all the potential to do great things in that house and she is not using that potential. So last night, he decided to go and give Victoria that wake up call that he promised. And thank goodness that the cameraman captured this wake up call. So last night we saw Victoria and Suj having a conversation and Suj was not telling Victoria. He feels that there is need for her to have safe space in that house. That he knows that she has shown that is the importance of the dynamic duo. To have someone that perfectly understands you. In fact, what Suj was implying in that conversation was, Victoria, you really need to give yourself a chance to get to know people on a deeper level so that you have other people that you can be vulnerable to other people you'll be very very close to in that house and victoria was not even saying a dime she was just like yeah yeah and guys the kind of code attitude victoria gave him during that conversation he was just like um, it may seem as though you not like people to be in your business that the way she is making him feel right now she is making him feel very very uncomfortable Guys, guys, you know the most shocking part of this whole conversation? When Suj had no other thing to say, the way Victoria just stood and was just like, thanks, I've heard what you say, and she walked away. I was just like, wow. Guys, it really made me to think back and remember all the time that, you know, Suj and Victoria have had conversation in that house. They have been having a smooth conversation in the house. And, you know, Victoria was at some point beginning to be vulnerable to this shunt because um, the way she was opening up to Sean, telling Sean things about her, some of the things she did in the past and some of the things she did during the lockdown period. Guys, we were even thinking that there could be a possible ship that will go on or that will happen between Suj and Victoria. That was why, guys, it was very, very crazy, shocking and surprising to see how weird the wake up call conversation was last night and i was beginning to wonder could it really be that victoria have been hearing all the conversations switch and sean has been having about her like what is really going what happened how did they get to the point where victoria could give Suj, who she had beginning to get vulnerable to, that kind of attitude. Um, that one really shocked and surprised me. I was just like, ah, away. Well, immediately after the conversation, Tofa and Suj had a conversation and they talked about Victoria. And the outcome of the wake up call. Well, let's talk about that in our next video. On to the next gist. Guys, there was a conversation that happened between our twin sisters and Victoria. And guys, it was a heartfelt 
conversation because during this conversation, the twin sisters and DS Wani, we are now telling Victoria that she should stop bothering herself about nomination, that she should be competitive, she should have her fun, she should live her best life in the house. Wani shared her overthinking experiences with Victoria. Guys, let me just say this. I really like the good vibe that started going on between Victoria and Wani S and D after yesterday bathroom experience. I don't know if it was the bathroom experience that brought about this new level of friendship that is going on between Wani S and D and Victoria. In case you are wondering what the bathroom experience is all about, I have done a video about it and I am not going to, you know, dwell on it in this particular video. Just go to my previous video, you will see it there. Guys, you know, after the bathroom experience, good conversation happened between Victoria and Handy S. Wani. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel ever since yesterday, Victoria has seriously been expressing herself to the housemate, you know, letting them know why she is the way she is. And I think that that is how Handy S. Wani got to know her better, that they are now being free and open with her. In fact, the good conversation they had with Victoria last night telling her that she should play her game she should forget about nomination she should be competitive she should be free she should be this she should have her best fun in this house i was just like oh uh huh i really like this new level of friendship going on between them and i was just like it may seem as though that bathroom experience was needed for this new level of friendship to spark up Guys, to be quite frank with all of you guys, I really like the fact that Handy S. Wani are seriously playing their game, being very, very competitive in the game without being toxic about it. Like, that conversation alone and the genuineness in their tone while they were having that conversation with Victoria is seriously making them to be very, very likable outside the house. But ladies and gentlemen, you know, this Big Brother Niger show is a game. It is even the way Victoria is not doing too much and this other housemate are playing her game for her because she will just be on her own. She is not, you know, doing too much at all. Then the drama of this other housemate trying to get to know her, trying to figure her out, trying to, you know, bring her out of her shell is seriously giving her popularity outside the house. I'm like... Yo, truly, everybody must not play their game the same way in order to gain popularity outside the house. Because, oh um, more the way people seriously like Victoria, me, I'm just like, ah, wait till they, wait till they, wait till they stop, wait till they happen. Well, me, I'm crossing my finger, so, but guys, Big Brother Niger game is a game of luck, oh. ah. It's a game of luck. People that are seriously doing too much, they are not getting popularity the way Victoria, who is in her share, you know, minding her business and looking at them do their thing, is getting. Ah, well, this year I'll be ending this particular video, Sha. This is what I say. Let me come and brief all of you guys this morning. We have a whole lot of gist coming up in our next video. So tune in because I'll be unpacking lots and lots of gist. Thanks for watching.